All right, so if you have time, stay just for a few minutes. I really just have 10 minutes and then it's dinner time with kids, etc. cetera. So uh, we can chat. Um, just wanna make sure you can hear my voice okay over the music. Is the music too loud? It's all good? Okay, awesome, thank you. All right. Awesome, all right. So Thursday workout, we do everything. Okay, we do strength, cardio, and core. So we're gonna start with cardio just for every block, just to get our minds into the block. And then we'll go with the strength move, and then we'll go into a cardio move, all right? Uh, the strength moves I've picked today are similar to what we did on Tuesday. We've just added a little bit more challenge to that. Okay, so we've added a little bit lower body challenge to that. It's more of a compound move. You'll hear me say that a lot. A compound move, is, move means just using multiple muscle groups together. Okay, not just using biceps, but using biceps and legs. Sometimes it'll be a lunge, side lunge, back lunge, different things. And we did a little bit of that on Tuesday, okay? So you'll just see or feel yourself doing a little bit more of that. Go at your pace like always. Every move in a block is a minute long including the cardio, which you haven't done this week, all right? You've done cardio for 30 seconds. This will be a minute long. So pace yourself, use options, every option I give you, all right? But we start with the warm-up first. So we're just gonna shake everything out, feel good. When you're ready, give yourself a big inhale. And exhale two more times, big inhale. Exhale one more time, big inhale. And exhale when you're ready, twist it out side to side. I love to start every workout with this because most of us are sitting all day, including me. I'm sitting doing my work, right? I have to promote these classes. I have to promote my business. I have to answer questions from clients. So I'm constantly sitting. I am. Uh, besides teaching my, my private clients and classes in the gym, I do end up sitting. So this is good, all right? This is good for everyone. Two more. One more. Now we're gonna take those arms up right here. Reach, tap, reach, tap. Right here, we're warming up his legs. We're gonna use them today. A little bit more than Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed the stretch. I hope y'all took time to stretch yesterday. It is so important. So I hope you're all able to do that. If not, I hope you can do that Saturday or Sunday. Two more, one more. Let's warm up that core, bring that belly button in and open, back of the arms come together, open. We have three more. Awesome, keep a soft bend in the knees, two. And one more. All right, we're gonna squat and reach the floor. So squat it down, open the leg, reach the floor. If you can't reach the floor, that's okay. Just reach only as far as you can. I want you to feel a nice opening in the back of the leg. All right, so that's what you're going for. Squat it and reach it. We have two more, just like this. Right here, and one more, right here. Awesome, all right. Now, we're going to just pull here and release. We're not gonna hold the quad stretch, okay? The difference in a stretch after the workout is the hold. This is still dynamic, because you're holding and releasing. Holding, releasing, two more. Hold, release, one more. And monster kicks right here. Pick it up, switch it out. Kick and switch. If that switch is confusing, you can just do this, all right? If you're like, I don't know what she's doing with her legs there, just go continuous right here. This kind of gives you a little break, kind of helps you add some momentum as you go into that kick. Again, it's okay if you don't touch your toes, as long as you feel an opening in the back of your leg and your glutes. Here we go, last two, and last one. Awesome, all right, shake it out. Okay, first move, 30 seconds on right, 30 seconds on left, you're gonna do a single leg, tap, reach. Watch, option one, tap, reach, tap, reach. Option two, you're hopping on that supporting leg, all right? Go as fast as you can, only your speed, 30 seconds, all right? Oh, my timer went to sleep, all right. On. 30 seconds on right, 30 seconds on left. Here we go. In four, three, starting on your right leg or left, and let's go. I'm doing option one first, right here. Yeah, tap, lift, tap, lift. Option two, 
right here. Reach up, reach up, breathe and smile. Keep going, keep pushing, come on. You got this, looking good team, keep going. Nice, go as fast as you can, or not. Come on, almost there, come on. Keep going, keep pushing, as fast as you can, or not. Right here, tap and reach. Reach, reach for those goals. Come on, almost there. And keep going, keep going, and a zero, and shake it out, shake it out. All right, on the other leg, we go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, right here, option one. Don't hop on the standing leg. Reach, now what I don't want you to do is this, yeah? Don't lean back. Stand up right, tap and reach. When you're ready, right here. Reach, reach, stay up right. Use those arms, momentum. We got it, tighten the core. Keep that core tight, go straight back, lift it straight back up. We got it, and smile. Come on, almost there, keep going. Keep pushing, we got this, come on. After this move, you're gonna grab the weight, okay? Keep going, and a zero, great job, all right. Next move, is the front half lunge twist with the shoulder press, watch. You're gonna hold the weight in each hand or not, okay? You're gonna step forward, you're gonna lunge forward, you're gonna twist and shoulder press. Twist, shoulder press. 30 seconds on right, 30 seconds on left, all right? I'm gonna go with my 10 pounds, light to medium, that's my light to medium. You don't have to do that, okay? All right, here we go. In four, three, two, one, here we go. Step forward, bring the weights here, twist it, lift it. Twist and lunge, and then lift, control. If you feel wobbly, that's okay, because your core is doing a lot of work here, okay? Twist it, make sure you lunge when you twist it to that opposite side. Working your oblique as well. As I mentioned earlier, Palm count move, this is your palm count move, all right? It's working your shoulders, your biceps, your core, and your legs. Here's your zero, awesome, and bring it down. We shift to the other leg for 30 seconds, here we go. In three, two, one. Bring the weights here, facing you, twist it to the other side, and lift, twist, and lift, twist. And lift, breathe into it, smile into it. Come on, your only limitation is you, all right? We tell ourselves lies all the time. We can't do this, we can't do that. You just have to go for it with modifications as needed, all right? If that weight is getting too heavy, if you're feeling anything in your lower back, put the weights away. Always, options. Here's your zero. Great job. Bring those weights down. Rest it. Yeah, I know. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. And we'll talk about this after the workout for next Thursday. Okay, what are going to do? All right. For a minute, we're going to do bear crawls. Watch. If you want to be in a down dog for this, you can. Option one, you're going to keep your hips high. Okay? Walk it forward for four. Walk it back for four. Option two, you're gonna stay as low as you can to the ground. You're gonna walk it up for four. You're gonna walk it back for four. Make sure you have space. If you don't have space to walk four up and down, you can do two or three. Try to keep the number even. So it's easy to remember what you're doing, all right? It's for a minute, pace yourself. It's all about the core, it's not about your shoulders. Shift your weight to your core to push forward and back. Rest your shoulders, try to think about that, okay? Here we go, in three, two. I'm gonna do option one first, with hips slightly higher, okay? Because it's week one, I will let you do this. By week four, we are not going to keep our hips this high. We're all going to be here, together, all right? In option two. Keep going. Try not to look at your toes as you're pushing forward and back. Just look between your hands every single time. Breathe and smile. 
Keep pushing. It's always better than the alternative team. Come on. We got this. Keep going. Keep pushing. Read through it. Come on. Face yourself. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. All right, you got this. Come on. Stay with me. We're in this together. Come on. Feeling every burn. Come on. Yep. Using the core, using the legs. Compound move. Everything's working. Come on. Everything's getting stronger. Keep going, team. Last four. Three. Two. One. Throw. Come on up. Now shake it out. Shake it out. All right. Lock one down. So repeat block one. Okay? The first move, you're going to do the single leg tap and lift. We're going to start on your left leg. All right? You got about 10 more seconds. Shake it out. Sip on water. I know I need to. So hold on. All right. Pull my timer a little bit closer. Okay. We go in four, three, two, starting on your left. Okay? Right here. And go. Remember, you don't have to hop on that standing leg. Come on. Fast. Hop up. Hop up. Come on. Use those arms. Come on. You got this. Don't lean forward and lean back. Stay upright. Tighten the core. Come on. Breathe and smile. Keep going. Keep pushing. Better than the alternative every single time. Come on. You got this, team. Keep going. Use the core. Use those legs. Those arms. Come on. You got this. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Last three, two, one, zero. We switch to the other leg in four, three, two. Let's go together. Come on. Reach. Reach because you can. Come on. Yes, you can. Now, if you want to go slower, go slower. All right? It's your pace. My pace is not your pace. All right? Your pace is your pace. And this will increase over time. Doesn't have to increase today. All right? If you're like, man, I can't keep up. You're no. You are keeping up. You're moving. All right? Even if you slow it down, you're keeping up. All right? It's you. You're against you. Come on. Keep going. Smile big. Push. Here we go. And a zero. Great job. Take it out. All right, next move. The lunge twist with the shoulder press, okay? We're gonna start on your left leg. Twist, shoulder press, all right? Here we go. In four, three, two. I'm going slightly heavier because I can't, all right? You don't have to, here we go. Lunge, twist, shoulder press. Twist it, shoulder press. Come up into that shoulder press. Lift it up. We need to do that shoulder press. Lift up. Come on. Again, remember what I said about shoulder presses. The weights are slightly in front of your forehead, not directly over your head. Come on. Keep going. That back knee. Don't make it touch the ground. Just bring it to a 90 degree angle to the floor. Come on. Continuous. Here's your zero. Good job. On the other side. We go in four, three, two, one, step forward, right here. Twist it, lift it. Twist it, lift it. Yep, that's it. Come on. Leave and smile. Make sure that back knee goes as low as possible. And if you can go all the way down, don't touch the floor. Okay? That is not safe for the knee. Come on. Keep going. Keep those weights slightly in front of your forehead. Not directly. Come on, I know. It's getting heavier. You're breathing heavier. It's the best feeling. And a zero. Great job. Put those weights down. We're gonna go into bear crawls in 10 seconds. Take it out. Aim for your shins to be as parallel as possible. That's not happening today. Use option one. Keep those hips up. All right? I want you to stay down at least majority of the minute, all right? Take a break as needed. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Let's go, team. Come on. Walk up for four. Walk back for four. Three, two, 
One, walk up. Four, three, two, one, walk back. Four. Now, this is my pace. That doesn't mean that's your pace, right? You make up your own pace. If you don't have space for fours, you twos, all right? Try to keep it even number. Come on. Keep pushing. You got this. Try to keep those hips low if you can. If that's not happening today. That's okay. Now think about pushing from your core, not your shoulders. The core is doing more work here than your shoulders. You shift all that workload to your core. So then it's stronger than your shoulders. Come on. Stay with me, team. You're almost there. Last 10 seconds only. Come on, finish it strong. You don't have to do this again today. Come on, stay with me. Last three, two, one, zero. Come on up. Do this double child's pose if you need to, but don't stay there for too long. All right, come on up. Shake it out. All right. Option. Oh, not option. I'm already into options. Just thinking about the next two. I was like, okay, what option was I going to say? Okay. Next move, block two. Move one. You have cardio move. You're going to do a guard run with a floor hit. All right, here's what it looks like. It's a lot of fun, okay? You're gonna run right here. You're gonna hit the floor, run back, hit the floor. Run, run. All right, so the whole key of moving the arms right here, of blocking like you're blocking someone, is to find that balance, is to practice the balance. When you take your arms out, it's a little bit harder for the body to move laterally, okay? It's about speed and agility. So the faster we move, the longer we move, the more athleticism we build, all right? Okay, like I've said before, you are an athlete. We all have an athlete inside of us. Just because you're not playing for a team or whatever, it doesn't mean you're not an athlete, okay? Your body moves, you're an athlete. You just have to know how to train it, all right? And that's what we're doing here together, all right? We're gonna go in five seconds. I know, I pick up all the time talking, you're welcome. All right, it goes by so much faster, right? For a minute, all right? Your option, don't touch the floor. Sorry, I didn't mention it. Just squat it down. You don't have to go down to the floor. The up and down is gonna get your heart rate up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Hit the floor. Try to keep the chest up. Three, two, one, hit. Three, two, one, hit. Three, two, one, hit. Come on, keep going, come on. Bang it down the floor. Let your neighbors hear it. Let your family hear it. Let them go, what in the world? But well, that's right, I'm getting stronger. I'm building, I'm waking that athlete inside of me. That's what you're doing, come on. If you can't touch the floor, you're just squatting it really quick and going back to running side to side, okay? Come on, so football players, practice this drill, all right? Yeah, that's right. Come on, that's what you're doing. Squat it down without dropping your head. Do not drop your head, okay? Keep that chest lifted. Do not round up if you're not doing this. All right, don't drop that head and rest. And rest, shake it out. Shake it out. All right, great job, Gene. All right, next move, camel hammers. Grab a mat for this. Because you're gonna be on your knees on the mat. So we did hammer curls on Tuesday. We're gonna add some quads to that, okay? Lift something light to medium. Okay, you're gonna be here on the mat. All right, you're gonna start here. I'm gonna show you to an angle. You're gonna start here as you do the hammer curl. You're gonna go back, come back up. Here's what we're not going to do. Okay, you don't have to do that. You're doing a hammer curl, pressing. See how my toes are curled up? Yeah, keep those toes curled up. Do a hammer curl and come back. You're using your legs and your core, not your lower back. If this is uncomfortable for you, stand up and just do hammer curls. Or do hammer curl and a squat if you want some legs. All right, if you're uncomfortable on the knees, let's go. We go for a minute in four, three, two, one. Right here. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, curl the toes, and go back. All right, it's not a lean back. It's a push back using your legs. All right, if you feel like your lower back is getting into it, 
just reduce your weight. Or come up and do the hammer curl. Elbows tucked in. This is how it looks in the front. Your elbows are not going to your side. Hmm. Keep them pinned into the side. That's how you're going to work those biceps. If your elbows are flaring out, your weight is too heavy for you, and you're not using those biceps. Like, who doesn't want biceps? Come on, right? Who doesn't want biceps? So, come on, squeeze it. Don't let your neck drop. Don't let your lower back drop. Nice, like a pendulum action, yeah? You got it, stay upright. Come on, breathe and smile. You're working those quads and those arms. Come on, and the core. Come on, keep pushing. A lot of control is coming from your core without you even knowing it. Here's your zero. Great job, awesome. All right, next move. We're gonna stay down, all right? We're gonna do some shoulder taps. I'm gonna step into a squat. Watch. All right, you're gonna be on the floor. Right here, option one, use a, use a mat. Behind the hip. Right arm to left shoulder. Left arm to right shoulder. Then you're gonna step it in, in. Squat, you're gonna step it back, back, and do the same thing. Option two, you're gonna do this in a plank. All right, okay, for a minute, pace yourself. Start, I'm gonna start in option one. If you know option two, go right into it. No jumping here. Avoid the jumping, these are not burpees, okay? I want you to focus on glutes. Here we go, in three, two, one. Option one, right here. Right arm to left, left arm to right shoulder. Step it up outside the elbows, and then take it back. Right here, tap, tap, step, step, hold. Don't come up all the way. Option two in a plank. Tap, tap, step, 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 step back. Tap, tap, step, 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 step back. Tap, tap, start, you got it. Go at a pace that works for you. When you're doing the shoulder taps, Try not to sway the hips side to side. Keep them stable. All right, keep those hips facing the floor. Come on, we got this. Keep going. All right, if you want some cardio, you can hop into it. I'll let you for the last 18 seconds. All right, this is option three. Team, if you're doing this for the first time, I promise you we'll build up to this. All right, you don't have to be here. Just do option one with the knees down. Take it slow. Here's your zero. Let's finish it out together. Come on. Awesome. And come on up. Come on up. Breathe. Smile big. All right, we're going to repeat. Block two one more time. It's going to go faster, OK? Because we know the moves. We know the options. I'm going to repeat them for you, OK? Shake it out. We're going to do the guard run with the floor tap. All right? You don't have to touch the floor. Again, reminder. If you're doing this, not good for your heart. Okay, if you're keeping that heart rate up, do not let your head drop. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go, team. Come on. And tap. Three, two, one. What's your pace? What a pace that works for you. Keep that chest lifted. Keep those legs and arms wide open. Come on. Have fun with it. That's right. Kind of feels like a kid to me. This move. I feel like a kid. Yeah. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep going. Come on. Have fun with it. Come on. Slam the floor. Go. Hey. I'm stronger than my excuses. I'm stronger than what my mind tells me. Come on. And you're already so much stronger for showing up for yourself here. All right? You have won 80% of the battle. Come on. Keep going. Keep pushing. Come on. No drop in the head. No drop of the head. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, can you go faster? Come on, can you hit a little bit harder? All right, here we go. Last eight seconds. Let's go, team. Come on. Come on. Last four. Three, two, one, zero. Nicely done. Shake it out. All right. Next move. We're going to camel hammers. If you need to grab a mat, grab a mat. Quick transition. Let's go, let's go. For a minute, we go in four, three, two, one. Right here. Toes are curled. And you push back. And come up. No, we are not doing this. Okay? Nope. 
Use those legs. Use the core. Keep it stable. Elbows stay pulled in. Your biceps should be burning, not your shoulders. Okay, if your biceps are not burning, one, maybe using your shoulders. Two, next time you can put something heavier. Okay, elbows pinned in. Elbows pinned in. Elbows do not flare out. Do not flare out the elbows. Another tip when you're working out with me. Keep a mirror. Keep a mirror around you or keep a phone. Record yourself. You'll be amazed at the things you see yourself doing. You may be amazed at going, oh my God, look at this form. I'm so good at that. Or some things you'll be like, oh, that's what she was saying. That's exactly what I, what I did, what she was telling me not to do. And that's good. Because every time you come, you're going to have better form and more results. All right? Record yourself. All right? You don't have to share that with anyone. It's just for your eyes. Okay, if you want to share that with me, I'll be more than happy to review it with you. Here's your zero. Great job. Awesome. All right, shake it out. And we're going to stay down, right? Shoulder taps. I'm going to step in, or I'll let you jump in, okay? If you're, uh, if for the alleys in the house, you'll know what that means once I introduce you to her. Okay, for a minute. You can jump it in if you want, or just, or just step it in, okay? Here we go. In three, two, I'm going to start in option one, right here, with the knees down. Right to left, left to right. Take it slow. Don't rush it. Come on. Right to left, left to right. Step it in, step it back. Or option two, right here. Step it in. If you're in a plank, and you go back to a plank. No down dogs if you're in a plank. Yeah? No down dogs. That means your hips are aligned with your back. Come on. Or option three. All right, keep your gaze between your hands, not with your toes. You got this. Breathe and smile. Keep going. Keep pushing. Come on. Almost there. Last 15 seconds. Oh my God. You don't have to do this move again today. And when you're tapping the shoulders, do not sway those hips. Swing those hips. Your core is not doing its best. All right? Come on. Use that core. No swing of the hips when you shoulder tap. Keep going, team. Last four. Three, two, one. Here's your zero. Finish it out. Finish it out with me. Awesome. Great job. Come on up. Shake it all out. All right, block two done. Block three. We're going to go into diamond hops with narrow row. You don't have to hop if you don't want to. Here's what you do. Grab a weight, two weights. Put it in front of you, OK? You're going to jump in the center of those weights. Workouts only games. Just like a little game you're going to play, okay? You don't have to see my head. All right. Watch. Option one. You're going to step it in. You're going to squat it down. You're not going to lift the weights like this. Now you're not, okay? You're going to come down. Remember we did those, did those narrow rows on Tuesday? We're going to do a narrow row. Work that back. Put it down like this, not like this. And then you're going to step it back into a white squat. Option two, you're gonna hop, narrow row, hop it back into a white squat, all right? Pick an option that works for you, and we'll go, to, we'll, we'll go at it together, okay? We start in four. I'm gonna start in option one. If you know option two, go for it. Three, two, we're gonna start in a white squat right here. Step it up between your weights. Don't step on your weights. If you're not using weights, pretend you're holding weights, and step it back. Now, try to lead in with the opposite leg. Every single time, if you can't do that, no worries. If you don't remember, you just want to keep it on the same leg, that's fine, okay? And step it back. Option two, hopping it, narrow, keeping those elbows pointing to the back, and hopping it back. Come back in, narrow pull, put it back, don't drop your head as you're lifting the weight and putting them down. Do not drop the head. Your legs are doing the work. As you lift the weight, and as you put them down, yep, that's extra leg work. Don't miss it. Come on. You want those toned legs? You want those toned adductors, those inner thighs? You gotta put the work in, guys. That's where the fun is, yeah? Keep going. Only eight more seconds left. Almost there. Keep going. And here's the zero. Take it out strong. Shut it back. And rest and go, whoa, what just happened? I know. Shake it out. All right. Next move, more legs. 
with your biceps, all right? You're gonna work those biceps. You're gonna do single, ah, okay. You're gonna hold a weight in your left hand. You're gonna step it to the right. You're gonna come up and do a curl. Over the weeks, we're gonna switch it to a weight in each hand. Okay, but for today, I want you to hold one challenging weight in your left hand, starting with left hand. Come on, all right, here we go. For 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Grab that weight. I'm gonna go with my 12 pounds because of that curl. I can do more for the lunge, but that curl, especially on one side. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Check it out, bring it in, curl it. Now, if you want more balance challenge, you know, right here, bring it in. On the inside of the foot, and then curl it in. Don't cheat your body out of the curl. Finish that curl, then step it. Finish that curl, then step it. Remember option one right here. Don't pick that leg up, all right? That's a lot for the core to do because you're doing an asymmetrical move. The core has to work harder because it's not balanced on both sides. The core is working harder. There is less resistance, but there's more core work. Finish that curl, all right? And stop. We go the other side in three, two, one. Go. Reach, curl, finish that curl. Don't be in a rush to go into that side lunge. Don't be in a rush. I want you to get the full advantage of that single arm bicep curl. It's symmetrical, it's challenging, four more. All right, so if you feel wobbly, that's a good thing. If you feel too wobbly, don't pick that leg up. Yeah? Got it, picking that leg up is only about balance. You're not working your leg anymore by picking it up, okay? A side lunge, yes. You are working the inside of that leg, okay? Come on. Keeping that chest lifted. Here's your three, two, one, and a zero. Great job. All right, shake it out. Last move, left three. All right. In the core, all right? We're going to stand and work on the core. Option one. The weight's here. Option two, your weight's here. Why? This is going to challenge your core more. You can do this without weight. You're going to squat. You're going to pivot twist. Squat, pivot twist. For more, for less resistance, you can put the weights here or no weights at all. Okay, I'm going to with my heavier, my 12 pounds. Okay? You can go with whichever weight you want and no weight. Here we go for a minute. We go in three, two, one. Option one right here. Squat. Twist that left heel up to the toes. Yeah, you're just lifting that heel off the floor as you're twisting. Option two, your weights are here. Oh, you're going to immediately feel the difference. Try it. Try it. And you can go back to your shoulders. All right? Your core suddenly has more load. That's to work on. Now your squat can be here. You don't have to be as low. Okay? As long as you feel some work in your quads, pick it right back up. Over time, you will get here, but you have to practice the right form. All right? The feet are only hip with the part your knees. They should not be facing inward or outward. Facing the front every single time you squat. Breathe and smile. Come on. Keep that core engaged. Keep the belly button pulled in, activated. Come on. Keeping that chest lifted, last five seconds, come on. I know, keep pushing, and a zero. Yes, great job. All right, put those weights down, shake it out. All right, we repeat block three one more time. That's it, and we have bonus and core, all good, okay? All right, diamond, narrow pose. Grab those weights, put them in front of you. You're gonna step or hop in between, and step or hop the back. My weights are here, you can't see it, but they're there, okay? We go in three, for a minute, two, one. I'm gonna do option one first, start here. Step, step. Don't drop the neck. Your elbows point to the back of the room. Step, step back. Step, step. Do not drop the neck, you lift or put the weights down. Option two, right here. Okay, you're doing diamond jumps, you're back. 
you hit back in, you are in the narrow squat. This is a narrow squat. Take advantage of it. The narrow squat helps work the outside of your legs. All right, that shape that you want on the outside of the legs, yeah, that comes with your narrow squat. Come on, keep going, keep pushing. Come on, and then you do that wide squat that works the inside of your legs. So, the best, best of all squat world. Come on, and you're working your back, your upper back. You never work your lower back. You do all of this to protect your lower back. Everything around the lower back, as it gets stronger, your lower back stays safe and it lasts a lot longer. And then you can have proper posture, proper form, zero, sleep better, and rest. Oh, I know. That move is so deceiving. First time I saw it years ago, I was like, really? That looks so easy. By rest five, I was dying just like this. And I'm still dying in this move, but I'm not dead. That's the beauty of working out, all right? Okay, we're gonna do the side lunge by some curl. We're gonna start with lunges this side, okay? Grab that weight, we go in four. In your right hand, three, two, one. Here we go. Side lunge, curl. Finish that curl. I know, I make the mistake of rushing into that side lunge. That's easier. Yeah, finishing that curl is harder. <laughs> I know, the body is always in fight or flight. The body's always going to take an easier path. This is where we build this mind right here. When you focus in on your workouts, when you focus on proper form, that's how your mind and body get more connected. And then it does the right thing. Now switch to the other leg. Switch the weight, here we go. Step it to the other side and curl it. You see how I tapped my foot down there? Because I was losing balance. So I tapped it, all right? Come on, finish that curl. Step it in, finish that curl. Do not short change your bicep. Come on, come on, you all want those beautiful biceps. Come on, and the more muscle you build, the better your metabolism, the more calories you burn. Come on, throughout the day, not just when you're working out, here's your zero. Great job, and we'll soon be learning about our basic metabolic rate. I'm going to share with you on the weekend how to calculate that. What does that mean? It's the calories your body burns at a resting stage. We're going to up that number as you get healthier. As you lose weight, build muscle, that number is going to go up. The calories you burn while you're resting, okay? All right, I'm going to do squat, pivot, twist. We go in four. Grab one weight in each hand or not. Here we go. Three, two, one. Option one right here. Squat. Pivot twist, only as low as you can in your squat, all right? Keep that chest lifted, option two is right here, right below that chin, come on. Elbows are pointing down, do not hold it like this. You're overstretching the shoulders. Don't put extra load on your shoulders, Stop pushing those elbows out, Don't push them down. Come on, keep a smile, come on, I know. Come on, keep going, woo! When I do that, I'm doing my max. My heart rate. High. Come on. Pushing. I'm working with you. Feeling every rep. Come on. We got this together. Stay with me. You got this. So close to the finish line, team. Stay with me. Ten more seconds. Come on, make it your best. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Woo, I'm slowing down. That's okay. I'm gonna finish it. Come on. Here's your zero. Yes! Great job. Awesome. Awesome. Shake it out. Shake it out. Walk it off. Walk it off. Yeah. The heart rate is high. That's a good thing. You're gonna bring it down. Okay. Bonus round. We're gonna work on something that is challenging. Okay? We don't jump around. We just do a core base move, but it works everything. You did a little bit of this on Monday, okay? Inchworms! For everyone who's been with me before, you know how much I love this move. I really do. I love inchworms, okay? All right, we're gonna do inchworm with a push-up. Please note down how many you do today, 
and we're gonna try to beat that number next two weeks. All right, because we're gonna do this challenge again next week. Same move. All right, here's what it looks like. You're gonna walk it down option one. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna walk it out. You're gonna drop your knees. Do a push up, and then walk your knee. Uh, bend your knees. Walk it back. Option two, you don't bend your knees. Try to keep them as straight as possible. And do push up with whichever option you want. It's only a minute. You've done a lot of things for a minute today. Easy peasy, okay? Get your mind and your body into it. Count the reps. I want you to count the reps. Let's go. In four, three, two. I'm going to do an option one first. All right, right here. Keep going. Right here. Knees down for the push up. Bend your knees, walk it back. Keep going. Same thing. All right, option two. Come on, keep pushing. Try not to bend those knees. If you want a little bit easier option in option two, take those legs a little bit wider. But if you want more challenge, keep those hips, keep those legs only hip width apart. If you want to try with feet shoulder width apart, you can do it. Yep, there's a difference. Hip width apart is a little bit more challenging. Shoulder width. You can ease up just a little bit on the core, okay? So use your options as needed. Come on, so close. We're way, way more than halfway there, okay? Come on, pace yourself. Counting. Keep pushing. Come on. Almost there. It doesn't matter what your number is today, all right? Come on. We're just going to beat it over the weeks. Keep going. Here's your zero. Finish it out. Wherever you are. Finish it out. Finish it out. Write down that number. Don't trust your memory. Don't trust your memory. I'm telling you, you're going to forget it next week. I make that mistake. Same down, I'll write it down. I'll write it down, okay? All right. All right, core, core, core. Let's get into it. Grab your mat if you don't have it already. All right, two fun moves. All right, first one, bicycles. I like to go back to the basics, especially when you start a challenge, okay? You may think, ah, bicycles, I've done them before. You probably haven't done them this classic way, okay? Or the right way, really is not my way, okay? It's just the right way to do it. You just, some of us may not know how the right way, hey, you may already know this, okay? All right, here's your bicycle, all right? It is not elbow to the knee. It's your shoulder to the knee. Come up as high as you can without touching that elbow to the knee. You're going to work your obliques more. All right, I'm going to keep repeating it until I get out of breath. All right, come on, let's go down. Uh, on your mats, we go in five. Only 30 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, start here. Opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. Elbows stay out. If you want to, if the lower back doesn't like it, take your legs up higher. And I want, so this is not a bicycle. No, this is not about, you're not doing, you're just working your neck, all right? When you extend those legs, that's where you work. And when you push that shoulder up to the opposite knee, that's where you're gonna feel more work. The lower you take your legs, the harder it is. The higher you take your legs up, the easier it is, okay? So, pick that option, what you want, what feels right to you, and keep pushing. Here's your zero. Great job. All right, we're gonna do single leg drops. Option one, palms underneath the hips, all right? Bend your knees, tap your heels down, all right? Option two, right here. Single leg drops, keeping those legs as straight as possible. Let's go. In three, two, one. I'm gonna do option one first, right here. Palms underneath the hips, support that lower back. You can also do straight legs without bending knees with the palms underneath your hips to protect that lower back. This is option two or three or whatever count of option you're on, okay? Come on, keep going. There's lots of options. Don't let that leg or heel rest down. When you bring it down, don't let it rest. You're just quickly tapping, lifting it right back up. You're working that lower core, all right? For all the ladies here with C-sections, yes, it can tone. I've had two C-sections, okay? We can tone it and get stronger. Here's your zero. Great job. Right, bicycles. We go in three, two, one. Start here and go. Go, go. Again, watch. This is not bicycle. This is not bicycle. Extend, extend, extend those legs. 
push that opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. Yes, you're feeling it more because you're doing it right. Come on, elbows out. Don't let them come close to your ears. Keep them away from your ears. Keep them away. Work the core, not your neck. You got this team, come on. Almost there. It's only 30 seconds for each move. We can do this. Come on, at a zero. Great job, single leg drops. The knees bent or not, we're going four, three, two. Let's go, this is option one again. Palms underneath the hips. Keep those knees bent, tap the heels down. Don't let it rest. Just tap, pick it up. Option two, straighten those legs out. Option three, lift the neck and shoulders off the floor. Bring those legs together, then drop each leg. Don't go, you're not doing this. Kind of do that hold in the middle. Yeah, that's harder. I know, that's where we're doing it. Hold those legs up in the middle and then take one leg down at a time. Come on, you can do this. Keep going, keep going, stay with me. Almost there, and a zero. Great job, shake it out, last round. Last little work and then we stretch it out. We go in four, three, let's ride that bike the right way. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. You're working your obliques at the center of the core, yep. Come on, everything's working, everything's burning, everything's getting stronger. Like I said earlier this week, embrace the hard yet, you guys. And gals, embrace the hard, all right? Every time it's gonna pay back so much more, so much more, the price of discipline so much better than the price of regret, right? Come on. So invest in discipline. That's what you're doing. It's going to pay back tenfold. Come on. And a zero. Great up. Last 30 seconds. Single leg drops. Use your option, okay? Let's do this, team. Together. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Use your options. You got to hold in the middle. Then you drop the leg. Hold in the middle, you drop the leg. This is how you tone those lower core muscles. You don't need surgery. You do not need a tummy tuck. You just need to move your body right. You need to put in the work. All right, those tummy tucks do not last a long time. This lasts forever because you get strong, not just in your body, but in your mind. Come on, come on. Keep pushing. You are ready for this. That's our word for the week, right? I'm surprised I haven't said it. Here's zero. All right, and rest. Yeah, you're done. Just like that. I know, you're looking at a clock. You're like, what? You're done? Yeah, you are. Great job. Awesome. Now, good morning stretch right here. You can extend. You can let that lower back arch. It's safe to do that while you're here, but don't, don't accentuate that arch. Just let that lower back arch naturally and breathe. Point the toes, wiggle your fingers, reach with your fingers, with your toes, breathe. Awesome, pull your knees in, hug yourself right here. Shake it out, gentle, massage to the back. Now drop your knees to the right, look to your left, and hold. If this bothers your lower back, you can always bring that arm in. You don't have to keep that opposite arm extended, okay? That takes some pressure off your lower back. And slowly switch to the other side. And look the other way. Oh, the sound is of feeling so good. Ooh. Yeah, stretch and food. Two other reasons why I work out. <laughs> I love a good stretch. Awesome. That's why I spend a little bit extra time than most other instructors might, okay? Hold it here when you're ready. Pick yourself up. We're gonna do a seated figure four. Just take your arms as wide as you can without losing balance. Your fingers face out, okay? Bring your right leg over your left and hold. Now, if you want a deeper glute stretch, bring that left heel closer to your hip. If your shoulders are going into your ears, just extend those arms out a little bit more away from you, okay? Push that right knee gently away from you. So you feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh and your glute, that right glute. Bring that left heel even closer if you want even a deeper stretch. If that's too much, push that heel away. You're here for one more breath. Awesome, and shake it out. On the other side, same thing. Left leg over the right knee. Try not to place that leg right on top of the knee. 
me and you find that knee. That's what I meant, not over the knee, sorry. Behind or if you look at the leg anatomically, then it's over or on top of the knee. I'm not making any sense now. I'm tired, so you know what to do. <laughs> I need to stop talking. Okay, no, I still have more talking to do, so hold here. Yeah, it happens sometimes when you're tired and yeah, your mind just, words are coming out, but they don't make any sense. I know what I want to say, but it's just not coming out. It's all good. I know you got me. <laughs> hold it here, one more breath. Excellent. All right, turn it around. You're gonna go into uh, cat cow. Okay, I'm gonna stretch out that core. We used our core a lot today. All right, right here. Arch that back down for a cow. And I'm gonna pull it up for, for a cat. And push it down. It's okay to arch that lower back safely. Now pull that belly button in and up towards the spine. Let your shoulders round out. I know, you can round out your shoulders here. And pick it up. Exhale every time you pull that belly button in. Inhale for the cow. Exhale for the cat. So we're gonna do that one more time with the breath. Inhale for the cow. Exhale for the cat. Excellent. And hold it in the center. White child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Yep, I love this stretch. You always, always have the stretch. Hold it here. Now we're gonna stretch out those shoulders. Thread your right arm underneath your left. And hold. Push your hips forward if that shoulder is not touching the mat. If that's uncomfortable, your shoulder doesn't have to touch the mat. Just sit however it feels comfortable. If you don't want to thread your shoulders, just hold the child's pose. Now on the other side. I want your stretch to feel good. I don't want your stretches to feel painful. If it's painful, don't do it. Not just stretch. Anything, anything in life should be a challenge not pain and bring it back in and when you try to rush the process it always becomes painful when you slow down the process it becomes challenging and better for the long term come into a butterfly hold it here shake it out I need water throat is really dry that's why I sound weird okay and shake it out awesome. and let go right here Hug it out. Oh, open the arms first. That's right. Let's stretch out that upper back that we worked. And now hug. Separate the shoulder blades as you hug. Awesome. Now open again. Big inhale. Exhale. Hug it out. Separate the shoulder blades. Tight hug. Open again. Big inhale. Exhale. Bring those palms together. Drawing your thumbs to your heart. Always ending with a gratitude for your body and your body is always always grateful to you and i'm even more grateful than that you all are amazing big hug good job awesome. all right okay all right there you go team music stop the music didn't want to stop okay all right here we go team and if you want to stay for two minutes of quiet time and then after that if you want to stay for q a questions any questions you might have we could answer those or just you know i want to know where everyone is like i know most of you but you don't know each other so it's really more for all of you okay only if you can all right but for a picture you got to stay right all right, Ali, you pick up those weights. All right, sweat at zero. Here we go. And hold on. You know what? I'm going to put a timer on so I can do my sweat at zero. Here we go. And oh, all right, I got this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Thank you. Awesome. All right, two minutes of mindfulness. If you can stay, awesome. If not, no worries. All right, let's do. Sit down or lie down. We're going to continue where we left off. You know what? I'm going to start a new one. Hold on.
begins with a thought, followed by an intention, a clear understanding of what you want to have happen. Then an expectation. And finally, a pervasive feeling that lets you know you can be, do, and have anything your heart desires as long as you believe in its possibility. It serves you and others and brings harm to no one. This is the exquisite creative process of attraction at work. Inviting the unlimited abundance that already exists around you into your life requires only your awareness, intention and silence. No matter what your life was like in the past, now is your time to enjoy all the fruits of abundance by going directly to the source and accepting what is waiting there for you. For today's meditation, ask yourself the question, what would I like to have more of in my life? Maybe you want more love or better health. Allow your answer to help you form a clear intention of whatever it is you desire. As we go into meditation, plant the seed of this intention into the fertile soil of the unified field and allow the universe to take care of the details. As we prepare to reconnect with the unified field, the source of all abundance, let's focus on today's centering thought. I create my personal abundance from an infinite source. I create my personal abundance from an infinite source. Now let's begin. <laughs> 